Hi, I'm Preston DeGuys. In this video, I'll show you how to use the agent-based file level recovery interface in PowerProtect Data Manager. So let's get started by logging on to PPDM and going to the recovery option. Under recovery, I'll go to assets, then switch the view to file system assets. In this lab environment, I've got a single host, Testo1, configured for agent-based file system backups. I'll select that client and view copies so I can choose which backup I want to recover from. Because I'm not replicating my backups in my lab, PPDM is showing me here that I've only got backups stored on a single data domain. By clicking the DD icon, I can view and choose from backups and choose the type of recovery that I want to perform. I've only done one backup so far, so I've selected that and I'll click File Level Restore. The other options, Restore to New and Restore to Original, allow me to do a complete volume recovery. Here I'm being prompted to decide whether I want to restore files back to the original host or another host. I'm going to restore back to the same host. Once you make your decision, click Mount to mount the backup so you can continue with the recovery. In the background at this point, the backup is being mounted for easy access. The next button will change to blue once the mount is successful. Now I get to choose what files and folders I want to recover from this backup. That means that the file system view presented here is the view of the content of the backup itself. I'm just going to restore a file from the slash root directory, so I'll select that and proceed with the recovery. Now I tell PPDM where to recover the file to. I can write the file back to where it came from, or in this case, browse the file system as it is at this moment and choose a folder to recover it to. I'm going to recover it to the slash temp folder and you can see here that there's no file called install.log in this folder at this point. This is a summary view of the steps PPDM will take to complete the recovery. If you're happy to proceed, click finish to get the ball rolling. Once the restore has started, I'm given the option to go and monitor it via the jobs view or return to the main PPDM interface by clicking OK. Once the restore has been completed, it'll disappear from the running jobs view. I'll click back across to my SSH session to the client and confirm the file has actually been restored. And that's how you do a file level recovery from an agent based backup using PPDM. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the blog for more details.